And so they basically don't like playing with this nigga. He said, he said the whole team was like that. He said, it isn't a good look for us. And with dealing with Bronny's attention and treatment, plenty, plenty of the other young guys that are tr- that are trying to make the roster for next season couldn't show their best side and show their A game. Gotcha. I mean, so that that makes sense now, though, if you think about it with the, we've seen enough with shutting Bronny down for the, like, if you think about it, like, mm-hmm. if that noise got loud enough, it was like, all right, let's... Let's get him out the way to finish this summer. Mm. Like we got, like we got to. Like yeah. we kill him around for like who we got coming next. Yeah. And what message is that sending to the locker room with the guys who like we undecided on? Mm. Like a D-Lo, right? That I mean, it may not. Of course, we're not finna get rid of D-Lo for Bronny, but you never know where it bring his mind in terms of like, hey, with this young nigga coming in, what y'all finna be on? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So. That that was so that was interesting. I did I didn't see that article. I'm gonna have to look more into that. Mm. But um I, I I genuinely think that like people you gonna have to come to grips with that reality still though. Mm. The because what what we know to be true is the draft has happened, mm. right? And Bronny James is has made the Lakers roster in some capacity because the nigga contract is a, a hundred grand under eight million. Mm. Right, the nigga, the nigga got some cheddar for his for his for his rookie contract. Yeah. Right, and despite the nigga who say I'm hating on Bronny, <laughs> you know, whether it, it come from you know the, the nepotism or not, like that's that's a reality that you got to navigate. So I I I'm, I'm two parts conflicted because like one, I get that you want to say that that shit can be frustrating, and I know you finna have a, a difference of opinion and go off on me in a different way. Just let me cook real quick. <laughs> one, you can say yeah, that shit get frustrating and blah blah blah. But at the end of the day, nigga, we are professionals. I, mm-hmm. As a, as a regular human being, my nigga, yeah. I can give you at least three of three of the. Uh, Three situations I've been in while I worked in positions and shit, mm. or like the 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 kids is like, you know whether they're my age or a little bit older. Most times they're slightly older, but you see they were brought along and kind of just groomed through the business so that whenever you know pops get out the way, that's just a reality, nigga. Mm. This you, you don't get you don't get the bitch and moan about it because it's happening in professional sports, which yeah. I know you finna go off on, but I'm just keeping it a bit. From, yeah. a, from a regular, logical standpoint, nigga, my, my message to them is fucking deal with it. Yeah. Nigga, hoop anyway. You came on here. Brody only got one position yeah. that he affected. So, like, I don't want to hear shit about no small forward. I don't mm. want to hear shit from no shooting guard. I don't want to hear shit from no power forwards. Yeah. I don't want to hear shit from no centers. Nigga, hoop. Yeah. You came on here. Here you go, boy. A couple boy. episodes ago. Here you go, boy. My nigga can't play D1 basketball in Northwestern. <laughs> played with a young white guy that you said was the coach's son, right? Yes, it's annoying. Yeah. But guess what I did? What? I dealt with it. Did I he bring he... did he bring the team down? A hundred percent. Did you wish he wasn't on the team? A hundred percent. So Brandon, get your goddamn ass <laughs> off the team. <laughs> I'm saying you that's my, my that, that you make it my point. My point mm-hmm. is. The, the shit that you spit out about me, mm-hmm. that's the facts. That mm-hmm. that reality is not changing right now. Yeah. This nigga's on the squad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you from experience, Moo, yeah. the nigga on the squad, fucking deal with it. Mm-hmm. Find ways to be great around it, bro. But, until, but, until that shit is so loud to where it's like, it's affecting, <laughs> like when, it, when, when the decision of that starts affecting the... Um, situations of the GMs and the organization as a whole and like the president of basketball and all that shit, mm. when they start feeling the effects of that, and what I mean by that is like pockets wise, mm. right? <laughs> that's the only way that that shit gonna happen. But the reason why that's not likely is because nigga that's lost fucking Angeles Lakers. Yeah. As long as LeBron putting on that motherfucking uniform, yes, the celebrities are going watching. Bro. Yeah. So, I don't. I don't deal think. Deal with it. Yeah, is all I, I'm I don't, but I don't think that's gonna transpire to the actual Lakers, though. They not gonna put. They gonna not. They not gonna put Brian in no situation where Bro, he can shine. Go, he finna go to the G League anyway. Yeah. This is just noise because I the summer league niggas who really is trying to make the Lakers team. Mm-hmm. I get it, but at the same time, he is affecting one position. Mm-hmm. Though. But no, see, I didn't. I didn't read the rest of it because I didn't want to say all of it on the yeah. podcast. But they said that. Like the, the game plan was catered around him. No, yeah, I understand that, but mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like, so how you gonna shine if the plays is catered to make him shine? To be, to be, to, to be, to be. It. That's that's probably why they wouldn't pass a nigga the ball. You see when that nigga was calling for the ball, and they they just went like for a bad shot. That's, that's the point I'm making. Yeah. 
Like at some point, nigga, somebody gonna have to just say fuck you. You gonna have to get this. ISO, I'm ISO <laughs> Joe now. Yeah, you gonna have to, you gonna, you gonna have Don't to, pass the You're gonna above. have to wreck up the system. Yeah. You're gonna have to make your own decision to do some. But when you going down that road, you got you better know you a, you better be a bucket. Mm. Your first your first two or three going against the grain plays. Yeah. Better be boom, boom. It's yeah. bucket, bucket, bucket. Yeah, because I guarantee they're going to sit your ass down before they, before they send Brad down. Come here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, but I, that, that's the rock and the hard place part I'm talking about, though. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you do when, like, when you got a buck against the system because the system is making a, a decision that is, uh, is affecting everybody mm -hmm. but one person? Like, it's that concept of, you know, would you rather save yourself and, uh, and kill the world or kill yourself and save the world type of concept? Yeah. You know did y'all do that when y'all when the other guy was on y'all team? Man, let me tell you, bro, I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Like, it got to a point with us. And like the reason why I jumped on, like, I was always on my nigga, my dude Keita's side. Mm -hmm. Right? Cause like I, you it's in his face, it's fucked up. But like, mm -hmm. cause we were seniors and like to cover up how bad his his play was, yeah. being a hundred, he would try and blame it on leadership. So he'd be like this. I fucking seniors don't give a fuck and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. so they coming at us and I'm like, all right, bet. And mm -hmm. so like, cause you could tell coaches to his face, I mean, you know, damn well, coach Mike, you know, damn well, little Mike is supposed to be out there. He'll, he'll argue or he'll shut up, he'll walk off, or, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just, a, it's a truth that we live with. We know it's true because the nigga came back and apologized. This happened years ago. Yeah. He, you know, he didn't since said sorry, especially to the nigga he affected directly. Yeah. But my point is, mm -hmm. like, Whenever, whenever you, whenever he did that shit about like singling us out, it was like I'm, I, you know, you know, mm. nigga, you know me and how I instigate. Mm. You know how messy I could be. Mm. So, nigga, it, we'll be in practice. I mean, I never forget this one time. We just, we just doing a drill. We really going half ass and shit. And I and coach had just finished saying that old whack ass shit mm. the, day, the day before. And little Mike had made a little move. Keita was playing half defense, but he hit a deep ass three. I'm mm. talking about bottom, and I'm on. We on. The, I'm on the starting squad with little Mike. So and Keita playing on the second five. Mm. So and, I, and Keita don't take much. So yeah. when he hit the three, I said, "Yeah, old puss ass nigga. That's the reason he's starting now. Mm. Talking about that's supposed to be your job, nigga. You can't even stop the nigga in practice. That nigga Keita looked at me. He said, "What? Like just like he said, yeah. what? I said, "Yeah, nigga. If you want the fucking point guard spot, nigga." That, he that for a reason. Mm -hmm. He said, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, when I tell you this nigga turned up on little Mike. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I knew, I knew one, two things. Mm -hmm. One, everybody in that goddamn gym, cameras included, because we had news reporters and everything, mm -hmm. saw what the fuck I what the fuck I been doing. Yeah. Right? It exposed them. Mm -hmm. Two, though, I in hindsight now, I'm really feeling like that helped make the decision where Coach Mike was like, nigga, you'll never, you'll never, I, you'll never get on the court now. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> but Keita walked that down. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they can touch the ball, bitch, give me that. Yeah. Turn around and just hit a three. And, and Keita didn't talk to him one time. Mm. Keita hit a three. Yeah, bitch ass KP, what's up? Yeah. And he'll look at me, mm. right? And then he'll go do his thing. He'll come walk up to him, what's up? Yeah. Like, he killing him, mm. but then he'll come talk to me. Yeah. So it was like that energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was dope. My bad, I give y'all a cool ass story, but like mm. you had to be there to watch it because it was like, mm. I was like, damn, man, coach really like the more I pushed, because I did it a few times. Like, mm. I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna make you see yeah. that you you fucking over. The one time I felt like coach had got fed up, mm. he had started Keita. He actually started the five. Keita, Day Day, uh, Biscuit, you remember Biscuit, mm. about here, nigga. Will Mosley, nigga, went play overseas. Actually, he's number two or three still in the nation with block leads. Mm. And me. Mm. Nigga, we the, we, the next three games, mm. we walk niggas. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Walk niggas. Yeah. <laughs> He's come pull Keita out of the lineup, son. 